My name is Chris Edgar, and over the next few minutes, I'll be providing a brief overview of some of CogState's solutions for remote and decentralized clinical trials. Gathering information on the cognitive profile of a compound during clinical development can be informative for several reasons. For example, adverse effects on cognitive function might be important for determining dose-response relationships and selecting doses for later phase development, for differentiation from competitor drugs, and for detecting off-target pharmacological effects, and also for assessing safety, efficacy, and effectiveness. The CogState Computerized Cognitive Test Battery is a modular assessment which can be configured for any study design. CogState tests can be rapidly set up for delivery into large, multi-center, multinational studies in a matter of weeks. The tests are brief, they do not require expert neuropsychologist raters, and thus they simplify and standardize test administration. Our algorithms automate derivation of outcome measures and data is rapidly available for review via our secure web-based portal for faster, more informed decision-making. Additionally, the tests have been optimized for unsupervised cognitive testing with instructions and delivery modified for online assessment. Depending on the nature of the population and the trial design, tests can be completed remotely, supervised or unsupervised, and using bring your own device or provision device models. Within the modular CogState computerized cognitive test platform, several of the tests have been optimized for use in unsupervised contexts. A workflow has been designed which familiarizes the participant with the response requirements and operation of the tests and minimizes the need for detailed written instructions. This supports conduct by teaching participants how to make simple responses, showing them how to complete the tests prior to their conduct, and structuring the battery with simple tests at the outset and greater complexity over time. Automated processes can also prompt test repeats where data are incomplete or where performance indicates incorrect test understanding. Whilst there are tests covering a broad range of cognitive domains and test paradigms, perhaps the most widely used has been the CogState Brief Battery. The CogState Brief Battery, or CBB, is comprised of four tests with a total completion time of less than 20 minutes. The CBB has a game-like interface which uses playing card stimuli and requires participants to provide simple yes or no responses. These tests are termed detection, identification, one card learning and one back and can be used to assess a range of important cognitive processes. With optimization for unsupervised assessment, these tests have extremely high rates of usability and acceptability, demonstrated by completion of the tests in full with responses supportive of correct test understanding at rates greater than 90%, even in cognitively impaired groups. Where test data are incomplete or a test is performed incorrectly, the software can algorithmically prompt a test repeat. However, such instances are low and well under 10%. These high levels of usability and acceptability are then able to support large scale data collection in the context of efforts like the Brain Health Registry. Several studies now have also indicated a high level of concordance between in clinic supervised and at home unsupervised testing. These data show both a negligible magnitude of difference between the two, supported by low effect size differences and a strong association supported by good correlation. This one card learning test has been carefully optimized for use in unsupervised contexts. The workflow has been designed to familiarize the participant with the response requirements and operation of the test, thus minimizing the need for detailed written instructions. In this video clip of the one card learning test, you'll see how the tests have been designed for self-administration by including very simple and clear instructions, which are followed by an active practice module that helps the participant fully understand what they are being asked to do before they take the actual test.
The one card learning test we have just seen has shown excellent validity, reliability and sensitivity to change across multiple contexts of use, making it a highly useful outcome measure for clinical trials. For example, this test has shown sensitivity to cognitive decline and impairment across the spectrum of Alzheimer's disease, including in amyloid positive, cognitively normal individuals or preclinical Alzheimer's disease. It is also possible to adapt to many conventional assessments for remote administration. In the case of Alzheimer's disease trials, several interview-based or questionnaire assessments, such as the neuropsychiatric inventory, were intended from the outset to be delivered by in-person and over the telephone. Additionally, other tools such as the Clinical Dementia Rating Scale have been adapted for use remotely and equivalence data has been published. In general then, most patient reported, observer reported and clinician reported outcome assessments do have the potential for remote adaptation. More challenging though are performance based outcome assessments, particularly where cognitive tests require written or drawn responses or physical activity needs to be closely observed. In such cases, adaptation can be challenging and equivalent studies may be costly, time consuming, but also have a low likelihood of success, such that starting with assessment tools already designed or adapted for remote settings is highly advisable. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many ongoing studies have required rapid adaptation to prevent missing data. Here at COGSTATE, we have been able to support by providing new training and guidance on telephone or video call administration, recommendations to adapt instruments, and also support for data collection and analyses. This has included identifying instruments well suited to adaptation, providing best practice for test environment and conduct, and differentiation of remote versus in-clinic data. Additionally, COG state tests with established remote at-home paradigms have also been applied. In this next video clip of the International Shopping List Test, you'll see how the test is accessed on a web-enabled device by the test supervisor and proctored over the telephone, requiring no additional hardware for the participant. I'm going to read you a shopping list. Listen carefully, because when I'm finished, I want you to tell me as many of the items from the list as you can. You can say them in any order. Are you ready? Yes. Pizza, mayonnaise, sugar, bagels, salami, nutmeg, peas, mints, oranges, brownies, artichokes, plum. Tell me as many of the items from the shopping list as you can. Sugar. Nutmeg, oranges, brownies, sugar, salmon, mayonnaise, pizza, and plum. Where site visits have been challenging for reasons of cognitive and behavioural impairment, and small patient populations spread over wide geographical areas. An approach to supervised at-home assessment using the visiting nurse model has been required. Both of these aforementioned challenges are apparent when working with frontotemporal dementia populations. In this example, COGSTATE's web-based and remotely delivered rate of training programs can be employed to train home health nurses in any location also making use of COGSTATE's global network of local area experts. In this way, trial participants needing support and supervision can complete assessments in their own home. For some trials, this can be an important component for successful recruitment and retention strategies. In our last example, we saw the visiting nurse solution for at-home but supervised assessment. There may also be examples where at-home supervised assessment is required, but the trial participant 
cannot be visited in their own home. And we have seen some examples of vulnerable populations during the COVID-19 pandemic where home visits are not feasible. The clinical global impression is an important outcome for many trials and often involves a synthesis of clinical information from multiple sources, which may include interviews with patients and caregivers, as well as clinical observations and examinations. To support continued CGI assessment in Angelman syndrome, COGSTATE consulted with the study team on scientific considerations for remote assessments, considering equivalency, sensitivity, and identification of a secure video conference solution. We then engage scale authors and copyright holders for permissions and any considerations for remote assessments. We supported with ethics review and deployed electronic versions of scales to the sponsor and sites in English and non-English versions. This allowed for continued capture of the primary outcome data in the trial without compromising patient safety. In summary, COGSTATE are able to offer a range of solutions in support of remote assessments and decentralized trials. These cover trial design and planning, adaptation of instruments, central rating and monitoring, and unsupervised digital assessment paradigms. Please visit cogstate.com to learn more or to get in touch.